Good afternoon, everybody. We're going to go ahead uh, in this video and examine the modification section of assignment 221 in the PLTW CSP curriculum. And this is the part where you have to modify the JavaScript in the image gallery page that they give you on, uh, on Cloud9. So let's go over here and take a look at that file. So right now, what I've got open here, and I'll show you how I open that in a second. What I've got here is the uh, JavaScript file for 221index.b.html. That's in the 221 directory. Uh, for uh, our Cloud9 account. Now remember the Cloud9 one, we, we made that in the previous section, and or you should have made it in the previous section, and these are the directories that you should have for that. So if we want to preview the file, just show you one uh, way that usually works. If we do a preview and then live preview file, we should get a new tab that opens up on the side. And this, of course, assumes that we have Apache running uh, down here, and Apache is running, and we use that in the bash terminal. And you'll notice that when we open this page up, this page has uh, one image that when you mouse over it, it actually pops out with a bigger picture of the image as well as the artist's name and the file name, right? And then when you bring your mouse away from that, it goes back and waves. So now, none of it doesn't work for any of the other images, but it does, you know, as you can see, um, only work for that particular image. So our objective in this uh, problem, and we can go back to the text and see, our objective in this problem is to modify it. So what we have to do is get the functionality, and here's number 23, get the functionality so that the same thing happens for three other images. Now, you can do any three images you want, but for simplicity, we'll just do the second, third, and fourth images just so we can go in a row. It'd be this one, and then this one should, and then this one, this one, right? So to do that, we have to repeat uh, a set of code that is uh, in a couple of spots in this file. So the first of them is this uh, CSS uh, style sheet. So the easy way to do that is we're going to copy, and let's actually copy the whole line. We're going to take that, copy that to the clipboard, and then we're going to insert it one, two, three more times, three total more times. And you'll notice, of course, that right now nothing has changed, but I do have to change the names of each of these so that these image files can call the correct style sheet or style section and we'll do that okay so that's all done that the first part you'll have to change the second excuse me the second part you'll have to change is the scripting section now in the scripting section currently you just can examine what's what's happening here there are three functions the first function is an initialization function and this function you only you, you don't have to repeat this you can write it more than once if you just change the name of it and then change the calls in it. But if you're smart enough or, or know how to work, work enough JavaScript, you can actually declare all your variables in this function and then declare all of the calls within this function, but then only have to copy two other functions. That's what we're going to do here. So you'll notice that this function consists of two things. First, an initialization of the variable, and then a command uh, to show the detailed view when that thumb is moused over. So that's nice and easy. All we have to do here is, and I'll just type one and then copy it. If we do the same thing for the second image, we can basically just repeat that. Okay. And then this time we'll keep the function name and we'll do a different function name for the second image. And then we can rinse and repeat the rest of that code as well. So if we go here, thumb three, and then this would here become thumb four. So, and we'll change the uh, function names as well. So when I write these functions, I'll use these, these, uh, uh, these commands right here. And then let's go ahead and initialize the variables as well. Let's just go ahead and copy and paste because that's a lot, a lot of the section is just repeating the same commands and just changing numbers, right? So in this case, image three, image four here, and then we'll do thumb two, thumb three, and thumb four here. Okay. So that part is all set. So we don't have to write repeated pop-out functions. We just have to declare the variables uh, within that pop-out function. What we do have to do, though, is we do have to write new functions for show and hide detailed views. So we have this one, and we're going to leave this one alone. This is, this is controlling the first image, and that's going to be our starting point. And oops, let me copy it so that the, there we go. Let's try it that way. There we go. And I will paste below here. I'm going to paste one, two, three times, okay? And then what I'm going to do is go systematically through each one and change function names and change the um, 
uh, the variable names as well. So here's what we do. Here's show detailed view. Well, I want that to be detailed view too. And now I've got M2, and I'm going to change this to 2. And then see, all I'm doing here is I'm just literally going through each of the variables. Whenever I see a 1, I'm changing it to 2. And here, changing that to 2. And then here, I'm going to change this image to pick2.jpg. And then I'm going to change the, t let me make sure, I don't think there's anything else I have to change in this slide. Let me just make sure. I don't think so. Oh, do I have to change the name? Right, that's what I want. The file name is pick2, just because, yeah, so those are the parts we have to change on that. We have to change the file name, and we have to change the uh, actual file call in there as well. And then for this one, we're going to go to image2 pop out. And then we're going to go to high detailed view 2. Okay? And we'll leave everything else alone on here. Now, high detail view 2, right? So this time, same deal. I'm going to go var m2 instead of m1. And then we're going to go 2 pop out. And you see, this is, the, you can obviously see how tedious this actually really is. And I know part of you is thinking, like, oh, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be something that's a little bit more convenient. And there is. There actually is. Uh, it's just a matter of, for the purposes of this activity, what is it? What is the legwork that's involved here? And there actually is a question in the in the uh, activity that will basically ask you the same thing. It's just like, wow, if you had to do this for every single, uh, if you had to do this for every single image, if you had to make it so all 15 of the images on the screen popped out, that would be a lot of unnecessary and repetitive and, quite frankly, boring work. So you you kind of want that to you you don't you don't want to have to reach that so you're only doing that for three images and that's not so bad so uh, that here and then pick three and then one more to two oops I forgot to change the detailed view and the pop out and take and take your time too because you, it, it, the way JavaScript works is if one thing you forget one little thing it's very likely to continue to make the same error or find something and then just keep looking for problems. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to change the uh, high detail view, right? So make that three. And then again, just M3, M3. Oops, I can do my, there we go. Okay, and then of course here, change this to image three, pop in, and then that's good. Okay, so then of course this is the last one here, and this is going to be four, right? So we're almost done the with the changing of the scripting section, right? This is the most tedious and most boring part, as I mentioned already, and I'm going to, you know, repeat myself because it really is. But we're just doing what we got to do, right? So pick one to pick four, and pick three. Where is that one? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is that file name? So much information. There it is, right there. I just went right by it. Okay, pick four. Okay, so. That's that, and then we're going to call out image four, pop out, and then we'll go high detail v4. And then this function here, we'll call this high detail v4, and then we'll go m4. And of course, if you know a more student-friendly method that you can do to accomplish this, feel free to post it in the comments of this video, uh, or. Uh, uh, another way to basically accomplish the same thing but with less code uh, that would be still student friendly I would appreciate if you could share that uh, here in the comments okay so there's one more section so we, that's the scripting section that's all done and uh, here let's, let's go to the body section now so we don't have to m as many changes in the body section but we do have to change the image ID section as well as the, uh, the, the div ID and we're gonna basically copy this line right here and we're going to paste it in three places. Kind of the theme right here. Okay, we're going to use pick two thumb, and then that's going to be image two pop in, and then this is going to be pick three thumb, and image three pop in. Maybe I should just do the whole video sounding like Ben Stein. Wouldn't that be funny? Pick four, and image four pop in, and I'm pretty sure that's all I need to do, right? Okay. All right, so now let's see if we, we did it all. This is live, right? Save. Now we're going to reload the preview. Oops, refresh the preview. And let's see if it worked. So there's mouse one. There's image one. And there's no. Okay, what did I do wrong? Okay, so let's, this is, let's, let's live troubleshoot here. So we got the init pop out. Got the show detail view, high detail view. Um, we got 
three three four four and onload and it pop out and I changed those was there nothing else to change no there was nothing oh here's why ID image 2 ID image 3 ID image 4 that might do it let's refresh and let's see there's one there's two there's three and there's four okay so now the only thing is I, I'm noticing that it's it's not a very clean as you can tell here uh, pop in pop out and so I'm wondering why that is but let's let's see if I can check that let's see let's see if it's full full screen it right so there's one over 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 so I think it was just a fun okay this one's not popping out that one's staying so that means I probably did not code something there and then here's pop let's let's get four in and four pop so it's just the third one okay so that's not bad that's pretty good actually so I must have just forgotten to change something in the high detailed view yep that's there it is right there so if you caught that as I was doing it you're like no 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 you forgot to change that that's what I forgot to change so let's try it again save and reload and let's see that one go good that one let's see that one goes away this one goes away that one goes away there you go okay so that's it but as you can see the uh, the, the, the pain and struggle of JavaScript is real uh, <laughs> so that's kind of what you have to do though so that pretty much covers it that, that covers exactly what you have to do for that section of course you can you can do it for any of the other three images in there and if you really really want to keep doing that you can do it for all 15 images I don't suggest it I think three is enough all right guys have a nice afternoon don't forget to be awesome